Hey folks and welcome to today's video with myself, Sarah Lean. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new repository with inside GitHub. So here I am inside GitHub and I can click on a variety of places to create a new repository. This time I'm going to click on repositories at the top of the screen. And then on the right hand side of the screen, I'm going to click on the new button. I now have the wizard for creating a new repository. There are a number of questions with inside this wizard. There are questions around templates, which you can use to start your repository. Um, but we are going to skip that and create a brand new repository. Under the owner section, I'm going to select my own name because I want to create it under my profile. And then I'm going to type in a name that makes sense for my repository. I then have the option to add a description so that again I can understand what the repository is or any of my colleagues or collaborators know. I then have the option to state whether it's going to be a public or a private repository. You can choose to have public so that anybody on the internet can see the repository or private depending on whether you want to keep it private to yourself. Bear, bear this in mind depending on what project you're going to start. We then have some options around initialising a repository. The first one is adding a readme file and the readme file is a longer description about your repository where you can add information for yourself or for people who are going to view this, whether that be what the purpose of the repository is or whether that be things like um, how to contact you or what the support mechanism is for this repository. We also have the option of adding a .git ignore file. This helps to stop you uploading files from say your local machine to your um, repository. This can be especially useful for some private files or some files um, depending on the language that you're writing that don't want to be committed to a public or a source controlled repository. This repository is going to be about Terraform for me so I'm going to select the git ignore file for Terraform. The last option you have is around the license. Now this depends on what type of repository you're creating, whether that's a public project or how you want others to be able to use this. In my case, it's a personal project, so I'm just going to select none for the license and click on create repository. After a few seconds, the repository will be created. And as you can see, I've got a few of those files that I asked um, the GitHub wizard to create for me and they are there for me. I can then go into settings and I can start to interact with this repository. I could change the name if I wanted, or I could potentially add some collaborators to the project to work on it with me as well. Hopefully this has been a useful tutorial for you in getting started and creating some GitHub repositories. Mm -hmm.